Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about formulas for indeterminate form uh, in limits and continuity. So, in the last video we discussed about indeterminate forms basically the expressions if we encounter these expressions we cannot evaluate their value and we need to use formulas to evaluate their value. So, I want to talk about the fa formulas that we will need to evaluate these things. So, uh, last time we discussed that whenever we will encounter some types of forms which are indeterminate forms we cannot really evaluate them directly. So, one of the examples, so the, the idea in this video is to give you some idea uh, formulas which you can use to solve problems. Uh, so, one of the formulas which is probably the most widely used formula for limits and quantity is when limit x tends to 0 sin x by sin x, sin x by x then the limit what is the value of the limit. So, if I directly substitute, if I directly substitute a sin of 0 then this is approaching 0 by approaching 0 and the value is basically indeterminate that approaching 0 by approaching 0 form is indeterminate and that is what we discussed in the last video. But the value this is there is a certain value that it approaches to uh, and we would not derive the expression here we might touch upon derivation in one of the later videos, but that is not really very important. Important thing is you should know what the value is because this is a very widely used formula and you will see that these kind of things will come up again and again in all the problems you will solve. But approaching 0 by approaching 0 for sin x by sin x by x is actually equal to 1 and you should just remember this uh, as something that you will use all the time. Similarly, limit x tends to 0 tan x by x if you put again value approaching 0 by approaching 0 and this value is also equal to 1. Then the third formula uh, that I want to discuss is limit x tends to 0 e raise power of x minus 1 by x. Uh, if you put x is equal to 0 again 1 minus 1 is approaching 0 and by approaching 0 and this is also equal to 1. Fourth limit x tends to 0 a raise power of x minus 1 by x if you substitute x is equal to 0 it will be 1 minus 1 by 0 up again approaching 0 by approaching 0 and this is actually given by log of a natural log of a. Uh, if I replace a, a as e then I guess log of e which is equal to 1. So, these are two formulas which are this is a general formula, but you should still remember this formula directly. Uh, fifth uh, is if you have limit x tends to 0 log of 1 plus x by x. So, log of 1 is again approaching 0 by approaching 0 and this is also equal to 1. And then limit x tends to 0 1 plus x by 1 raise power of x. If you approach if you put the value of x is equal to 0 in this case this is approaching 1 into approaching infinity this is also one of the indeterminate forms we have read and hence, but if you evaluate this the value of this is actually equal to e ok. Uh, you should just remember this as a formula and just so that you just for food for thought if you take the log of this you will actually get this and log of e is 1. So, these two are also related to each other just so that you uh, can appreciate this alright. So, uh, let us take last formula. Uh, and that is for limit x tends to infinity a raise power of x is equal to 0 for a between 0 to 1. This is not indeterminate form I just wanted to talk about this here that uh, if something is less than 1 and then if you have something approaching infinity then you will go to 0 because let us say 0 0.5 if a is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 raised to the power of infinity is 0. Similarly, if limit x is approaching minus infinity a raised to the power of x is equal to 0 for a greater than 1. So, if you have this let us say 1.5, so 1.5 raised to the power of minus infinity is 0. I just wanted to talk about these things for as formulas that you might use uh, for solving limits and continuity problems. So, I hope you got an idea of different kind of formulas you will be using. 
please please write these formulas down multiple times without looking at them please write them down again and again because you will be using them in and out for all the problems of limits and continuity please write them down so that they are on your fingertips and you can use them whenever uh, you need okay i hope that this video was useful see you in the next video thank you